Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer with Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, I, I think I have a tough one for you today. All right. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. All right. I know you are. So the question is, about 24 million Americans have provided financial support to adult children due to COVID-19, and an overwhelming 71% of retirees said they would offer financial support to their family, even if it could jeopardize their own financial future. Uh, what advice, words of wisdom do you have for folks who might be in that situation? It's a, a, it's a very unfortunate situation. And, you know, I liken this to the common question that we get, uh, or the question we get a little bit more commonly, which is, I want to help my kids through school, but it might impact my retirement. Obviously, uh, this is a little bit more severe given the situation, but it's kind of the same thing as do I, do I help my kids who are my children? And, you know, uh, as a father of three, I, I understand that to the nth degree. Um, or do I impact my, uh, or do I do I impact my own retirement? And it's important to remember, you know, there are no loans for retirement. You know, that is the first place we need to start. Is that if you don't have these dollars, how will you pay your bills? There are loans or or programs for lots of other things right now, um, but not for retirement. So it is absolutely critical to understand that as kind of a baseline. Now, having said that, I think it's entirely reasonable that if you want to, you know, if you want to change your standard of living, you know, there's a, a big difference here between not being able to pay for the roof over your head or not being able to pay for food, et cetera, then it's, you know, what we wanted to do, you know, uh, uh, two vacations a year, we're only gonna be able to do one or even none. Uh, you know, changing your standard of living uh, for your children. I get that. People do that all the time. We all have this, uh, or many of us at least, have this, you know, innate uh, just desire for our kids to have everything. We want to do everything for our kids. They're our kids, right? And so uh, I, I completely get that. But if we're looking at, um, you know, a, a, a position where you might actually put yourself in jeopardy, what I would say to you is that not only is that not going to be helpful to you, but it's also not going to be helpful to your child. Because chances are, if you are that way, your child is going to recognize that. They're not going to want to see you like that. It means they may have to um, invite you into their home to live at some point where they perhaps may have otherwise preferred not to. Again, we, we all do what we have to do for family, but that may not be the preference. It may be where that they feel a, a undue burden when even when they go back to work to be able to help pay for your bills, uh, et cetera. So it, it's a really, really difficult decision. I'm not sure that there's a perfect answer out there because, and you know, frankly, it, it's the choice between two awful situations, right? One is you put yourself in a lot of risk and one is you, you see your kids struggle more than they otherwise might. But it's, I, I think the most important element to think of here is what sort of changes are you going to have to make? What sort of risk? does this impact or introduce rather to your retirement plan? Again, is it not that you, is it that you can't do the things that you really wanted to, or is it that you can't do the things that you absolutely need to? If you want to sacrifice the former, so be it. Can't really sacrifice the latter. Mm -hmm. And so that would kind of be, you know, my answer there is kind of figuring out which of those, uh, which of those things would suffer. If it's a need, I, I would try and not uh, sacrifice those things because it will just create more stress for the family, not just you, but for that child in the long run, based on my experience. Whereas if it is a want, then yes, you, you, you do it. And you know what you do every time that you get frustrated that you're not going on that trip or that you're not going out to dinner at that restaurant, but you're eating in or however you have to change your life. You just remind yourself that you're doing it for your children because you know that, that, that kind of gives you that, all right, I did the right thing, you know? so. Tough. You're right. It was a tough question. Very difficult question because it's it's more than just dollars and cents here, um, and and everybody's going to look at this differently. And, and candidly, I know some people are going to watch this and say, I don't care. Even if it means I can't put a roof over my head, I'm going to do for my kids because it's my first inclination too. Probably yours, a lot of other people. But the 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 best answer that I can give is an objective party looking at it. You know, from the outside in, is to separate that. Are you sacrificing your wants or are you sacrificing your needs? Do the former if you need to, but not the latter. Yeah, it strikes me in situations like this, I sometimes uh, do two things. One is I create a grid with pros and cons to each of the options here and try and create a scoring system. And then secondly, and perhaps equally important is uh, find a sounding board, a, a trusted advisor, a, a competent friend who may you know, be able to 
might be able to bounce this off with as well. I mean, I'm sure you know what your wants and needs are, but uh, if you're having any doubts, uh, having a sounding board probably is a good thing. Agreed. More opinions in this particular, you know, and and the sad thing is most people don't like to talk about money, especially when things are tight. Uh, And so that kind of creates this narrow framing that people fall subject to. They just don't get enough information to truly make the best decision. So you really want to, to, to step out of your box here and maybe not provide every detail, but you know, talk with a variety of sources. This is a big decision, obviously, one that uh, clearly, based on the question, could impact someone's own retirement uh, rather significantly. And so getting information from a variety of places is always a good idea. Right. Well, merits a hammer from my point of view, Jeffrey. Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you, sir.